You're listening to the Family of Tegida podcast. A message from Akatu. Sue from Yuyo. Beloved friends of light, I come to you in these moments with a reveal of beings that might sound strange. Indeed, these souls are not the only race that is very different from life in your current awareness. Allow your mind to be open as we explore life on Yuyo. This star is more of a spinning rock than a star. It began as a large meteor that was black and charred as gases seemed to burn out. But tiny microbes were moving within the high temperatures. These life forms moved and lived with intention as they survived. As the rock stabilized, the spirit of creation breathed life with spirit into the tiny life forms. They became souls that would have lives with consciousness and feeling. Pleiadians call these souls Su and their place of dwelling is Yuyo. These lives were created with the understanding of duality with free will. The Su move freely among rocks and mountains. They stand three feet tall with soft fur-like coverings of purple. They have two eyes that are large black circles on each side of their head. Their heads are oval in shape with a small slit mouth and nose. They have four short appendages that move as legs. They have no arms and lean forward to graze in areas of sticky plants. The nourishment is pink and contains all needed for sustenance. As they moved in the early stages of development, they scooted flat on the ground. Over millions of years, their posture changed to being upright as they communicated more fully and learned about the possibilities before them. They understood that life was full of challenges and their days were wrought with both joy and discontent. They live approximately 400 years and incarnate back into their race in these moments of being. Their desire to travel or even move around the location of their home was impossible as they performed poorly in understanding basic technology. With temperatures of freezing air followed by extreme heat, they noticed large bubbles seemed stationary and even solid at times. These were utilized with compounds and chemicals to become more stable to allow shapes and hardened areas to be formed. Over time, the bubbles would transport the Sioux to locations around Duyo. Their knowledge has not increased and in these moments, they remain quite primitive in comparison to stars that offer flight. Pleiadians have visited but it has caused great fear among the Sioux. They are not ready for other races to communicate but we will continue to watch and wait. We honor free will with all life. The Sioux do not have mates with absolute families and they join with the opposite sex to procreate. They have feelings of sadness as well as great humor as they enjoy their offspring. There are no private dwellings and food is shared in areas where ground sustenance is plentiful. Animals are not seen on Yuyo and this is an unknown concept. Basic survival is a daily task and all join in to make this happen. The intelligence is there but they lack teaching and wisdom. They remain much like children who play and live beneath rocks with areas of rest and relaxation. It is hard to imagine beings that have not progressed more efficiently. But it is up to the individual as well as the collective to move forward. They remain healthy in their own perspective and until they reach a place of reason that tells them that life can be much more a the Sioux will remain in a primitive stance with the history of expression from microbes. They have self-awareness with the beginning of their breath from spirit and Pleiadians hope the collective consciousness will guide them to a greater experience. In light there is understanding. With love there is peace. Eniki Maia, I love you so. Akatu.